Good evening from Z Hostel here in Makati, Manila. I've been here for two days just catching up on editing and chilling out. Um, there isn't too much to see and do actually in Manila, so it's a good place to reset the clock and also party if that's what you're craving. Tonight I'm heading to Norman Luzon to a place called Banaway, which is famous for its beautiful rice terrorist, uh, terrorist terraces. Made it to the bus terminal in good time despite horrendous traffic once again but it turns out the nine o'clock bus that I was supposed to be on is cancelled so they put me on a 9.30 bus instead. Apparently all the buses are full so it's gonna be an adventurous journey um, so I figure I've got an hour and a half to kill gonna see if I can try and get some food maybe I don't know, chill out somewhere. My inflatable neck pillow got busted a while back so I've been dealing with out and I've been having a crooked neck a lot of the time but I have just managed to replace it with a handmade one that I found just on the street here for 150 pesos. Sold to me by this fine young entrepreneur. Thank you very much. I'm just getting my daily guitar practice in, waiting for the bus, and then we'll be off and on our way. This is my home for the next 10, 11, 12, I don't know how many hours. There's a bit of confusion about where this bus is actually heading because it's not the original bus I was supposed to be on. And on the timetable it says it's he heading to Lagawe. The driver says it's heading to both Banaway and Lagawe, but Google Maps says they're six hours apart. So I don't know where I'm gonna end up. I'm hoping it will be Banaway, but um, we'll take whatever this life is gonna throw at us. As you will notice from the attire I am wearing, it is considerably colder here in Bantue. Honestly, the bus journey really wasn't so bad. It was pretty much bang on 10 hours and I did manage to get quite a bit of sleep. Really glad I bought that neck pillow. I'm gonna go ahead straight onto a hike where I'm gonna see good rice terrace viewpoints before passing out considerably later because I am really, really tired, but a couple of coffees I'm thinking, I'm hoping will see me through the day. So we're starting around here, driving all the way up here, and hiking up to here. Just in the town of Banaway, um, getting a couple of snacks and a bottle of water and an emergency rain poncho, should the weather not hold out. Um, so just stocking up before we start our hike. So here in the Philippines, you can ride a jeepney but on the roof, and today is going to be my first rooftop experience. Just stopped at the petrol station, which is just a store. Who knew? About 45 minutes of rooftop jeepney ride later, we have arrived at the place where we're going to start our hike. An altitude of about 1,200 meters. So we are really up high in the clouds right now. And it's a little bit cooler up here. But it is super, super beautiful. What's this stuff? Mm, I have it here. What is it? It's a bagel now. Yeah, you want to do it? What is it? And how do you do it? We use the red cheese. Ah! <laughs> That looks crazy. Are you uh, only chewing it or? Yeah, chew, chew, chew and spit. And then spit it out. Yeah. Yeah. This is the elementary school here in Batad. It's the only one that serves this mountain village. And for secondary school, they have to go all the way back to Banaway, which is about an hour away from here now. They have these guardrails made of Mountain Dew bottles. Probably because Mountain Dew is made from the dew of a mountain, and we're on a mountain. Makes a lot of sense, actually. If you fell down here, you would just fall really, really far. And that's all there is to it. Not really sure what you can do to prepare for a view like this. But I'm getting them all the time and I'm running out of words to say that I'm speechless at how stunning it is. It's kind of frustrating. Well, it's not every day you hike up to the top of the Batad rice terraces now, is it? We are just heading down to the very bottom where we can find a lovely little waterfall. We're still on the descent down and I think all of us have now contracted a serious case of jelly legs. The thought of going back up all these steps is really quite terrifying. So, it might transpire that I now live at the bottom of a mountain because I cannot get back up. We're so close. Yes, yeah, so far. It's much, much colder here up in the north of Luzon, but quite frankly, I'm still managing to get my sweat on. Woo! I didn't realize quite how much trekking would be in this trek. We made it. Nearly. 
I just nearly tripped and died. That would be a shame if I tripped and died right at the end. But we made it. High five. Hey! <laughs> wow. It's actually quite a nice one. And now begins the treacherous climb back up. Even though it looks like I'm going down right now, but it's like up and down, but mostly up. It's been about six weeks since I quit smoking. And I can tell you for free, I definitely don't think I'd have been able to do this while I was a smoker. But I don't know if I can do it while I'm an ex-smoker because, boy, it hurts a lot. And there was once upon a time where I could do 100 flights of stairs on the Stairmaster, but that was once upon a time and this is now. We made it inside to an eatery just before the rain hit, which is great, because none of us wanted to get wet. And there is some lovely food on its way. I'm gonna have an egg and vegetable sisig with rice. This is the first time I've come across a vegetarian sisig, so I'm actually able to have one, yay! Normally it's pork, chicken, or beef, but this is vegetables and egg, yum! These are my new best friends. This is called Stuart. Say hi, Stuart. And this is called Rodney! Hubert! Stuart and Hubert. Stuart and Hubert, okay. Hi! Oh, you're so soft! No fighting now! You silly head! You big silly head! You're a silly head too, don't you worry. Yes, you are. You're a silly head. We just had a lovely lunch and I'm ready to pass out because I still haven't had a proper night's sleep. So I think next we are going to head back to the hostel in the jeepney and I will take a very long and very well deserved nap. Would you look at that, we all made it back to the jeepney in one piece, exhausted nonetheless, but we made it and we are alive. Just got back to the hostel after a fab day exploring the Batad Rice Terraces. Not a moment too soon as the weather has really turned now and I need to nap. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, share, subscribe, whatever, and I will see you again soon with another vlog. Goodbye. <laughs>